Welcome to the seventh day of Advent and a moment of meditation in the Word of God. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Word of God for today is from Ezekiel, the tenth chapter. Then I looked, and behold, on the expanse that was over the heads of the cherubim, there appeared above them something like a sapphire, in appearance like a throne. And he said to the man clothed in linen, Go in among the whirling wheels underneath the cherubim. Fill your hands with burning coals from between the cherubim and scatter them over the city. During this time of year, the focus for most people is on preparation for Christmas. But in the Christian calendar, this season called Advent also looks beyond Christmas to the day when God will bring an end to this world, the day when Jesus will come not as a baby in a manger, but as the one appointed by God to judge every human being who has ever lived. Those who have rejected him will be rejected by him and consigned to eternal fire. Those who have believed in him will be received by him into his glorious presence for the life everlasting. Angels were often sent by God to bring good news, like the birth of the Savior in Bethlehem. But angels were also sent by God with news of his judgment, even to carry out the judgment. In Ezekiel's vision, part of which we read a moment ago, Ezekiel sees cherubim, angels, upon whom sits God's glorious throne. The holy fire that Ezekiel sees between the cherubim is both a purifying fire and a destructive fire. In this vision, the cherubim, at God's command, are giving the fire to a destroying angel who is sent to punish the people who had forsaken God to worship and serve gods of their own making. The prophet Ezekiel's message for his hearers, us readers, is that God expects us to worship and serve him only. Advent is a season not only to prepare for Christmas, but also a time to prepare for the last day when Jesus will judge. Are there gods that we are worshiping and serving, gods of our own making, gods such as science and knowledge, hoping that these will solve all our ills, or gods such as riches and fame which we spend our life to get, or gods such as power, hoping power will overcome any threat we face? All of these things, these gods, fade away they rust, decay, fade like a mist on that day of judgment. Advent is a season, then, for preparation by repenting, turning away from anything that distracts us from worshiping and serving God only. It's a season for firmly placing our trust in the Christ child, the Savior, whom God sent to save us from our sin. He is our hope and salvation as we wait for the last day and as we live and work each day now, walking in the way of his commandments, loving, obeying, and serving him only, and loving our neighbors as ourselves. Pray with me. O oh Lord, give us grace to walk before you all the days of our life with a heart and mind turned to you that when you appear on the last day to judge, we may rejoice in your glory and not be ashamed at your coming. Grant us this for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and keep you. Amen. Amen.